Hi everyone, I am here on vacation. We're staying at this lovely Four Seasons. We have this huge balcony uh, where I've been able to do work and also relax. Suitcases and specifically travel suitcases. I've done other videos on travel bags and things like that. There's my Goyard that I use for poolside and also uh, for travel and all of my, my carry-on stuff. If I go to the beach, I take like the little bag that they give here just so I don't get sand in my Goyard. There's no point in that, though it is very durable. I don't want to do that. Um, hotel's really gorgeous. There's my breakfast, having a great time. The rest of the room's kind of a mess. My husband and I have the same carry-on. So his is sitting over there. I'm going to go through mine to show you. I bought mine first and then we liked it so much. He bought one as well. So his is, looks a little bit more pristine, but mine is a little bit more beat up. Uh, it's been really durable though. And it's been to like, I don't even know how many continents. It's soon going to be on Antarctica as well. I'll tell you more about that trip soon. But basically these wheels, I did have to get replaced once. It was without any cost to me and came back in a couple of weeks. I think I was like taking it down from the bin and it was getting banged on the ground. And so I ruined the wheels, but it's totally a lifetime warranty and they're the double wheels. It swivels so well, no matter how heavy it is. I have the heavy thing packed, and then I have my heavy tote bag as well. And that just, it carries it so well. So no complaints whatsoever about this bag. And so I'm going to tell you why I'm obsessed with it. And I, you know, we travel a lot. We travel carry-on only. And so it's really, really important that this bag can cram a lot of stuff. And so I'll go through the outside features. So you saw these like incredibly durable, really swivel wheels with the double wheels so that it's, you know, all four, it stands on its own and then it swivels around really, really easily. The other really great factor uh, is that the handles do not stick out, but they're very durable and really easy to grab. And also you'll see on this side, you know, we got the special edition one with a little bit better hardware and stuff like that. Um, but again, it, it's not something that sticks out and is hard to adjust. But more importantly, actually, this is probably my first favorite feature. This thing adjusts to like multiple heights and locks in. So when you're, you know, depending on maybe what bag you're carrying or what your own height is, very convenient. So then on the inside, they've saved space by putting this piece that holds the rail of the well, swivel handle on the outside so that you can have this zip for an umbrella. And surprisingly, I use this all the time. Having an umbrella on a trip is so useful. And then what a good use of space, right? Um, this is like where you can put your personal details as like a luggage tag and it's tucked away, it kind of just stays attached to it. These features are so incredibly useful. And then my second, or maybe my second favorite outdoor feature, and you'll see why this is like this right now, because this is just not closed properly on my end. But the other awesome feature is this little tab down here. Because what ends up happening is I need to grab it out of a bin, and this thing helps me grab it and makes it so much more like just comfortable to use, um, you know, if you do end up stuffing it and making it really heavy, that handle on the base helps to lift it out of the bins above and things like that. So other great features, this outside pocket is huge. I usually put like my slippers, but you can see here it's holding my leather jacket because I'm in a warm climate, but I, when I go home, I'm gonna need something warm. So I just slid that right through in here. Or usually I'll keep like a pair of indoor slippers or beach slippers so that as soon as I get to a location, I can just pop them out and put my slippers on and just shove my sneakers in there. And then this one is really good too, because when you're going through security, you want to have a space. And I usually like keep my lock in here, but then like my husband, because he doesn't usually have a purse, he'll keep like his important documents in here. And what's nice is that the inside is orange. So if you by accident, like keep it open or something like that you kind of it kind of catches your attention and you're reminded to just zip it i think that's everything about the outside now this is super durable like i mean you know the nylon bags i mean the argument is that they can be cut into or whatever but we hardly ever check it so let's talk about the compression technology when they showed me this i was like oh, okay whatever catchy but it's really useful 
Now, it comes with a thing in the back that you can insert here that makes it easy to put like suits and things like that. But I've taken it out because I don't really bring any blazers or suits that need it or dresses. I have kind of a very compact way of packing my clothes and so I don't need that. But this my husband has used to put a whole tuxedo in and it worked like a charm. You just kind of like hook it onto here. It opens out this way and then you fold it in and it can hold all of your suit kind of like in this bag. But usually I just like keep dirty clothes or extra things that are like loose and small in here. And it does zip all the way down to the base. Then you've got this mesh one where I usually keep like jewelry or other things that I need like quick grab that I need to see. And then the magical space. So it has this, which I hardly ever use. I actually just pulled it out for the video. I usually keep this at the base, but my husband likes to use this to kind of keep the things organized, especially when there's very few things in it. Now, it's a ton of space. I don't know whether it comes out in the video. This is compressed, so this is all the way down. And because it doesn't have ra the rails that get created by the handlebars, you've got a complete box here. It's completely flat. So what I usually like to do is put a layer of soft clothes in and then my shoes and then another layer of soft clothes. That's my strategy. This, I just realized, um, is gonna be hard to show you with one hand. Okay, so what you do is you pop open the side. So this side goes up like this and it compresses down. I'll show you on this side so you can actually see the uh, contraption. It's like you use your thumb here and you lift it up. So now you've got like a good extra, uh, almost like four inches of space, maybe more. I wanna say maybe five inches. I have never measured it, but it's super nice. And so what they recommend, and they show you this when you buy it, is that you load your stuff up with it large and, and big. And depending on how good a packer you are, this is gonna work for you or not, and I'll tell you why. But what you do is you load it up and then you sort of press it down and then all the stuff gets compressed. And so this is amazing, amazing technology. Now, I am a very dense packer, so I don't risk loading it up when it's all the way up and then pressing it down. I always like to have it low because I know how dense I can pack things. And if I were to pack it full and then press it down, it really wouldn't press down that much. I think it's for people who just kind of shove a lot of stuff in and don't know how to do dense packing, then they can compress it and so much air comes out. It's an incredible technology. And what's great is that because it does expand so significantly, it's not just like the two inch normal you know, expansion that, you know, like most suitcases, they expand and they're like, it's like that much space. This is clearly double that. You know, I'll show you again. It's, it's really just awesome the way it works, you know, um, like that. And I would say it probably then fits as much as a medium suitcase. Okay, maybe not that much. I don't want to give you the wrong impression, but it's pretty epic how good this thing is. I mean, I want to say it's been to every continent now, except not technically South America and Antarctica. It's going to be on this next year. But um, yeah, I mean, just so, so, so much room. Highly recommend this thing. It's like, you know, Briggs and Riley to me, and <laughs> I didn't even mention the name of the thing, Briggs and Riley suitcases to me are so underrated you know yeah you could buy a louis vuitton and i think this is all just so that you can undo it and clean it should you ever need to um it's like a little zip here but i've never needed to do that or i guess you could put like maybe some stuff that you want to stash in there i don't know again never needed to do that but you know you can buy a fancy suitcase but if you want durable high quality these things come for about I want to say like when we bought it, it was under 600 but now I think they're up to six or seven hundred dollars so worth it lifetime guarantee um again the company is Briggs and Riley there's that and you know it shows wear absolutely you know there's some scuffs here I was worried about but they will take care of this kind of stuff if you send it in I just again have never needed to I'm so happy about it so yeah I'll give you another a view of where we're at but yeah, it's just so lovely. Usually that suitcase is more than enough 
to get us to a place like this with lots of dresses and shoes and bags and um, swimwear. And so, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone.